Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm going to pretty much jump straight into it. Carrying on pretty much from where, well, exactly. Same day, same everything. Um, well, new day for you lot on here. Um, same day for me. Right, so what I want to do today is ideally go to the um, hospital and see what they have inside. I'd rather have it all accessible to me here than in a hospital swarming with zombies, should I ever actually need it. So what I'll do is I'll dump my stuff off. Um, I plan to take very little with me. I need to, as I keep saying, <laughs> sort this shit out. Right, that should be enough crowbar. I will eat the rest of that um, stew that I made. Also, take another one out. They're all pretty bloody good. Hundreds, hundreds, hundreds. Right. Um, 60. Yeah, right, I'll take this one. Hopefully I should be full... yeah, full to bursting. I think as long as you eat to full to bursting a few times in a row, it should start you going up. It probably also depends what you put in there. I think you need to mostly put meat in, so I do tend to... once you run out of meat, fishing is a very good thing. Right, so did that, did that, got my food, got my water. Should uh, the problem is I haven't got much in the way of snacks that I can sort of take with me. <coughs> I should be okay though. I wanna quickly double check. I haven't got any crisps or cereal. I can take canned tuna. I don't like wasting them. Uh, if I can't take an apple. Right. Now I want to take a gas can with me because I'm going to. There's like a shitty car that's just outside. It wasn't great, great, but it wasn't too bad. I'll put some gas in there, hot wire it, take it to the possible because I think there's an ambulance in there out front and that ambulance is pretty good. So if I go there with the car, come back with the ambulance ideally. I was going to take my shot. oh yeah, no I should. Whether well, I take the shotgun as well, but I need to, I should probably definitely take a Molotov with me. I guarantee there's a lot of zombies up there. Oh, the lights are full, that's good. I thought it was empty. Whether I take my shotgun as well. I just don't want to take too much in the way of weight. Where the fuck did I put the monitor? It's the problem with not organizing your shit. This is fucking ridiculous, isn't it? What a problem to have. <laughs> this is fucking stupid. This is fucking stupid. Where the fuck could I put them?
This is rather silly. Rip clothing. Oh, it's just. Socks? Where's the socks? Can I just, oh, just do one? I don't know what you're gonna rip. Just give me some. I really wish you didn't. Well, fuck it. Um, yeah, fucking piss take. It's my own fault for being um terrible when it comes to organisation. I've got it all planned out in my head, it's just I haven't done it yet. I should do it off camera because it's one of those things that's going to be so tedious. <coughs> right, yeah, so I was going to take the shotgun as well, but it is just more weight, weight to carry around. So I was also thinking of things that I'd like to see them implement in the game like things to bring in I'd have thought like ladders would happen at some point where you can climb ladders it seems a very uh, standard thing but uh, I don't know if it would take away from the like the fear you know because you can just go up a ladder and be like oh you can't get me but but you can't really stay up on a roof, can you? You've eventually got to come down. So it's not complete safety. It's just temporary, um, a temporary fix. It's different because you, like, for example, I keep going back to State of Decay and State of Decay 2. You can do that. You can climb up a ladder, go onto a roof. But obviously that's like a third-person shooter, so you sit up there, you shoot the zombies and climb back down. You can probably aim aim your gun and shoot down. I haven't really ever tried. But uh, it is a bit of a temporary fix. But I wouldn't mind seeing that because I'd also like to see it would be nice if they could put in um, sorry, uh, if they could if you could dig like ditches. So you could dig like traps. So you could dig like two down. I mean they might eventually once they bring in they're planning to bring in basements. So obviously if they're bringing in basements they're going to bring in like subterranean levels. So whether they'll let you then dig ditches, because I mean obviously you could dig a grave but it's just a, it's not a real hole, it's just a, like the campfire, you know, you just don't have to it. Whereas if you dug a ditch you could let them, you could it could fill up with zombies, you dig a ditch down climb out via a ladder um, and then yeah you'd be able to make certain traps you could build like a moat around your base lots of different things I think it'd be quite interesting if you could do that it'd give you a lot of options Definitely need to be able to climb a ladder to be able to do that. Otherwise, it's completely pointless. <coughs> right. In intrigued to see how many zombies are around. I have killed a hell of a lot of zombies down here. I should have probably brought a generator with me as well. And set it up by the petrol station. It's quite quiet, I don't mind that. Right, we can... I'm hoping I drew most of them away with all the noise throughout the different occasions where I've set so many zombies on fire and been driving around honking my horn. So hopefully I've emptied the hospital out. Right. 
So we will add gasoline. May as well fill it up. Okie dokie. side. quiet so I can hear in case anything wants to sneak up on me. Right, did I? I don't think I managed to hotwire it, did I? No. Okie dokie. Right, well I will leave that there for now because I don't want to attract any unwanted guests. Shall I quickly check for gas cans? That's the head of a zombie, I think. Is it? No, Ing. Is it? No. Maybe. Zombie with grey hair? No. Fucking... Okay. Ignore everything I just said. definitely went inside the hospital. <coughs> Open the boot. You can just give me some empty gas cans. That's all I want. Do that one? How much did I do that one? I don't think I did this one. Yay! Yeah. Then kick in the dick. Did I do that one? Probably did. Yeah, it's locked. All right, so quick lock. Prop proper lock. Going in, eat the apple, fuck it. Look like a bad guy. Right now, I might go. Well, I'm already quiet, but I might go even quieter while I'm in here, just because I'm all crisps. I'll be too busy listening out for shit. But yeah, ideally I'm like I'm looking for like antibiotics and all, you know, the good shit. Disinfectants usually very handy. I've never been in here. Cause it's always been swarming, so I have no idea where I'm going or what there is in here, which is both cool and also terrifying. I 
I should take just take it all, shouldn't I? I've never needed to take antidepressants, but uh, I can imagine once you run out of books, if you live that long, obviously, and um, like you go for literal days where you just can't go out. The sounds is terrifying. All stale, all fresh yogurt. Eat the yogurt. Would probably still pay to take it. Whether it pays to take it now, I don't know. But um, you can just turn it all into compost, so it's quite handy. I might start now because I am quite close to, oh Christ, my um, vehicle. I think something came through the window. Oh, fucking noises. want to take things like lard and ketchup and stuff like that once you can because um it's good to add seasoning to the food gives it extra just little bits of extra stats i think that's why most of my other stews that i made were in the hundreds because they've got they've got lard in them so they're uh, extra good this up. I'd love to go and pick it up. It did this with the other. There's another one. I've, I've been trying to pick these up before and it just doesn't let you. I don't get why. Really pisses me off. Yeah, I don't know why these ones you just can't pick up. Is there a point in any of this stuff? Can you play with the yo-yo? No. I see your ass. So take the magazines, they are quite liked. Comic books, already read that, magazines. Read that, word search. How the fuck do they all know I'm in here? Jesus, seriously, how do they all know I'm in here? Fuck. 
Do I try and burn them? Just get them all together and torch them. This is what I should have bought a shotgun so I could have fucking made some noise. Because I don't want to waste a Molotov cocktail on just a fucking couple. in the little car, use that to attract as many as I can, and then I'm going to just use the fucking bullets up, I think. I might attract more than I kill. Jesus. There are plenty of clues. I bet there's some shotguns and shit in there as well. I've just not gone through it all. I need to stop pissing about because the car is going to run out of gas. Well, I got what I wanted, which was to not just waste my Molotov on a couple. The problem is, there's quite a few more than a couple. As long as a couple were on fire, you should be alright. You should set the rest on fire. Eventually.
You gotta think this is only a fucking a, a, a fucking droplet in the amount of zombies there are in this game. A mere droplet. Set the fucking hospital on fire. Oh, for the love of God, they set the hospital on fire. It's a problem when you start fucking around with fire. I shouldn't have did it here really, I should have fucking moved on a bit and then set them on fire. Not outside the fucking building that I want to then go into. Poor guy's not on fire. Right, this is going quite well. <coughs> Just need to keep it up, but not get sloppy, that's the problem. I tend to get a bit, I don't know, complacent, is that the word? Sloppy is a good word. Distracted, like my mind wanders. Then I'll switch back and I'll be like, oh look, I'm walking directly towards a flaming zombie. Right, but yeah, other things I'd like to see in the game. Cool, there's quite a few things. <laughs> Just, um... It's how... crazy you want to go, really. Because... I don't want to make it too much... too silly, you know what I mean? some stuff like, I don't know, be, yeah, it's quite silly, like lawnmowers, that'd be quite fun, like the ride on lawnmowers, but I don't know if that's just getting silly, but it is, it's a thing, so I think it's, it's a real thing, um, 
like bulldozers and stuff like that would be quite good. Um, there's lots of it's like I don't know, like being able to make ammunition would be interesting, but really, is that something you could learn? I suppose they'd have to introduce more books and stuff like that, skills maybe, like chemistry and all this stuff. But, um, it's also not a bad idea them not doing this because, in a sense, it's, it would be a very rare thing to find someone making ammunition. start going to like, I presume there are bows and arrows and stuff in the game, I haven't looked fully, but they'd have to start integrating things like that, which isn't necessarily bad, but you still get guns, you just gotta pick when to use your bullets. shit off and then investigate the rest of the hospital. I should take some food now, I'll be right. Just listening for zombies. Should be alright. I bet there's still f a few more in the actual hospital itself, though. There's always more zombies. Right. Yep, there's one. What a place to go. He picks the one shot. Oh, oh, you just made your jump. Oh, oh, oh. Fucking idiot. Blah, blah. Oh, come on.
you wouldn't get rid of the drowsy, but I think if you do too much while you're still like tired, like exhausted, sort of thing, um, where you're in exertion or whatever, it'll add to your tiredness. So you want to try and oh, fuck me. I think there's just multiple stamina's, different types of stamina bars. Say your <coughs> your tiredness is your it's like a white bar and the, the, the exhaustion part is like a, a blue bar that goes over the top of the white bar. You know, once the blue bar is gone, it starts eating into the white bar, which is that one. But you can't get that one, the white bar, back until you sleep. We can get the blue bar back by resting and stuff like that. So there is logic behind it. It's just all shit you can't see. It's like every time you open something, you get tons of different shit rolling behind the screen. Like dice rolling behind the scenes that you can't see to determine what you fucking find in them. Oh, toys. Toys, 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 toys. That's nice though. For old kiddies. Not helpful for me though. Right. Okay, I'll just deal with these fuckers and have a look through here. Okay, spoke too soon. Christ, more fucking zombies than I was hoping for. I don't like this at all. Yeah, just, 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 yeah. my friend. I would speed up time so it goes a bit quicker, but I don't want to risk it.
I don't know if there are chainsaws in the game, that'd be interesting. I'd have thought there were, but I don't know for sure. Right. Oh, I heard that. Oh, where the fuck did you come from? <laughs> I've always wondered if the lifts ever worked. Save. I've never really checked. Every time I've gone to a building, I thought, ooh, I wonder about the lifts. It's always been after the powers count, so I'm always like, oh. But I've always wondered. Oh, it was toilets, okay, so that's pointless. I'll do the bottom floor first. It's probably safer to do upper floors but stick down here for now I heard that there's someone somewhere <coughs> I think they're outside though or they're inside well they're against a window or regardless a lot of thought into this game. It's like every little bit. It's really good. I came here for medical supplies and I've ended up filling up on one fucking food. <laughs> books, aren't they? What's that? Oh, that means to me. What's the point in that?
zombies do? some stuff but <laughs> oh, not the supplies I was after come on you fucking idiot Still time to go back in, but um, oh fuck, sorry, that's me moving. <sighs> but I'm gonna have to chuck this shit in there and then, hang on, no, um, then sit down for a little bit. So I'm gonna have to sit in, I shall sit inside here. The window is closed, so that is good, and I will. Speed up time a little bit. Right, well this isn't going very well, is it guys? <laughs> well it's not going piss poorly, so that's one main thing, but um I could have found more useful stuff. But I have found some useful stuff. said really first aid's one of the things that if you ever need that much first aid supplies you've been either very sloppy or no, sloppy and lucky or um, you're playing like online with people and you're the designated healer. <laughs> stuff is. It could be all upstairs and I'm far assing around down here. some and it doesn't seem like it runs out so it's pointless taking more than one screws I'll have there empty bucket I'll take the mouse trap I don't think you can use it but I'm intrigued that leads you outside This is a nice 
guy stuff. Peanut butter and stuff like that's really good. to be riddled with cooking pots but I bet I don't even find fucking one I can hear something I hate the idea of it being right there it's just outside though Jar lid is handy, but you want like a box of jars, really. Eat they now, fuck it. Not a single cooking pot. What a fucking piss take. Soy sauce tape man. Right, this I don't like being here, it's too much. Cause they're right there under down there. There's a fucker there. So this is ideally where you'd go. All right. <clears throat> so yeah, the problem is I don't. I've never been in here, so it's a bit like uh, I don't know where to just directly go to, which is good. It's better for you a lot because. It's Worse when I just start and I'm like, okay, I gotta go here, 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 and here, because obviously I've done it shit tons of times before. But um, it makes it a bit easier for me to fluid, fluently just. Choo, 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 choo. Whereas now I'm a bit like, uh, I don't know. I might have time just to check and see what we're dealing with. way of um, meds per room. Okay, it's, it's gonna be more of a, you'll come across a storage room then I guess, which has a shit ton of meds in. And the room's gonna be a bit more this and that. So you can find shotguns and guns in the hospital. It's definitely America. <laughs> A big hiking pack, I'll take here.
stuff. And I can just take it all. Make sure I don't get greedy, which I feel I might be starting to get. Fuck's sake, fuck's sake, fuck's sake. Greed, 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 greed gets you killed. Right, he's in the back. Gun case, can you take it? Very tired, he's got a heavy load. Right, well I got some stuff. I've made it worth it by getting um the antibiotics and the stuff out of that cupboard. I got some guns as well, which I was not expecting, so that's one thing. Just need to get out now. And there's still a couple more well at least one more floor. Plus the ground floor, just some more that to explore. Don't work. Oh, Jesus. My little pupper was going then. I was like, I was like, oh, it's not going to start. Oh, God, here we go. Sea of corpses. because it's nice and quiet so I don't want to damage it too much by running over anything, especially that box. Ooh, yes, that box. Let's not forget the box. That fucking box. That box there. It's getting a bit crowded in here. a wash. There should be plenty of water now in the water butts because it's been raining quite quite a lot recently. It'd be interesting to see how much because at least we know there were it was zero originally. So we'll have a number to give us an estimation of how much rain is actually a full estimation estimate or whatever. Right, here we go. Let's have a gander. Metal drum. 304. So we've had 304's worth of rain. And that was in like a day, maybe? That was just like a squirrel, wasn't it? Okay. Um, wash it off.
Nice. Wash your clothes. Oh yeah, it's a different colour to what it looked then. <laughs> uh, what was he going to do? That's it. Check how much water is left. 196. So about a good 100 um, worth of water to wash yourself. Plus we'll move all uh, clothes. Right, um, there may still four, so I'll chuck it in this one. Nope, that one. I'll just chuck it all in there for now. Sort it out after. Even the rotten food's not going to really go, like, you know, get any more rotten. Not until I chuck it in the composter anyway. Well, I don't believe it does anyway. I don't think there was any food that was still in good condition. I think it was all rotten. Except for the yogurt which I ate, I believe. Have a quick look. I mean, stale, stale. Unless you cook it with something that's good, it's just going to take away all your happiness. Stale, stale. Rotten and cooked. Stale. all my bags with goodies in. So that's good. So I'm alright for medical stuff. Always worth taking the rest though. But um, it should be alright for now. Need to finish reading that book. If I can remember where I stuck it. I will eat the rest of my stew. I do need to try and find a watering can at some point. Or at least one of the garden sprayers, because otherwise, Christ, I'll have to like pour buckets of water on them. Which, it's not like I'm short on water. Because obviously I've got the river, so I can always top up those water butts with water from the river anyway. But it's just the hassle of having to keep, pretty much have to empty a whole bucket Go fill it up, empty another bucket, fill it up, empty another bucket. It's just. Whereas the watering can is so much more efficient. Right, we'll eat half of it. It's good that I got some more lard as well. Lard's really good. Right, right, right. Did I finish it? As good as. Right, I might finish that book just because I need to finish it. And mechanics. i got to finish that. I should take... I saw it then. The poncho. I should just have that because... It has been raining a lot recently. Right, he's okay for food. He's full to bursting. He's still going down, but I'll take a couple more. Uh, sit on the ground. Read your carpentry. I need to consolidate all my, like... I need to build some, like, bookcases along here, say. And I can put my tapes in there, my CDs, and all my books. I might put the books up here, the CDs and the tapes down there. Because I know I've got some, but I just can't remember where they all are. So I'll probably have this as the library, if you want to say. And then, you've got your food. That's going to just be, like, general storage, medical. Then you've got your little armory, <coughs> armory bit. And then two more empty buildings at the moment, which can be used for, well, whatever. I could put the library around there, I suppose, and just have this more, dec just put more decoration in around here. As this is my, like, living quarter bit. Living quarters. I 
I'll need to go back over to the the hospital area because I need to take a generator for the gas station. Might pay to do that sooner than later, seeing as I've just cleared them out quite well. I think I think that would have with me honking the horn probably attracted a good chunk of the ones that would have been by the gas station anyway. So I might do that. I might take the, all the empty gas cans plus the generator, get them full filled up, get, them out, get that out of the way. Because once that's filled, I might even take a different truck. Because the one, if I take it in the black one, I think I've already filled him up. So I could just fill up another one when I'm there. Extra fuel. Fill up all those. And that'll be that done. Leave the generator there, obviously. Um, yeah, then once I've got that stockpiled, because I don't want the generator to run out. Let me forget. Then eventually I'm going to have to start working my way through... Hang on, I just want to finish this and I can bring up the map. It'd be a bit easier. Come on, you motherfucker. There we go. Right. Okie dokie. Right. How is he still out of breath? He's been sat on his ass. Right. Okay, so. I do need to finish off down here at some point. I don't know how much more there is, but I do need to and check out those two. I've never gone down that road, so I don't know what happened or what is down there, but I'm presuming there's I mean there's gonna be tons more shit. Pardon me. <laughs> Pardon me. Quite gassy, I've been drinking a lot of Pepsi recently. Right. So the thing is I either well, I can either do that, go check that out. Or I can no, I should do the gas first. Well, it's dead. Yeah, do that. Fill that up. And then it's just a question of where do I begin? <laughs> I do want to explore because I've never actually explored all of this. I presume there's going to be like a big shopping mall, you know, because it's a zombie game. You're going to pay homage to Dawn of the Dead. I think, from what I remember, it's uh, like find the map when I've uh, opened up all the map. I think it's over here, or over here. It looked like a big building anyway, with like a massive car park around it, which I presume would make it like a shopping center. So that'd be a thing I want to look at. I do need to start ticking off these buildings. I need to find some more cooking pots. But I mean, like, like I said from the start, my end goal ideally would be to clear all of this out of zombies. But I don't know how achievable that will be at the moment because I set it so bloody. I set the peak day so <clears throat> so long. Hang on, I just got a cough. Oh, because I set the peak day so like it's like two years. I think no, it ain't two years. Is it? It's not even a year. I think it was two hundred and thirty odd days. So it's a while yet. So you'd really, you'd want to hit the peak day and then try and clear it all out. Otherwise, everything you do is just going to be for nothing. It'll still be a bit of a bitch. You could empty it all out and zombies would just walk in anyway. But that's the goal. I want to explore all of this. And I think to do it properly with killing enough zombies to look at everything properly, it'll take a, take a while. Which will give me a chance to build up the base, get some farming going. It will let things start to overgrow, so hopefully it should. It will take like a year, I expect, in game. If not longer. Probably longer, let's be fair. How I do it, though, I don't know if I'll do a, a video for each day or if I'll start breaking it down into just doing weeks. Like I'll, I don't know, do a day. Or like on camera, skip the rest of the week off camera, do a day on camera. It depends. I mean, if, if everyone's enjoying it, then I'll keep doing it day, day by day. But, um, 
yeah, I mean, it's enjoyable. I'm enjoying it. That is the thing with this type of game. You don't get, like, an end goal. you got to figure one out yourself. Make, make it however you want. You can just try and survive. Live as long as you want. Like, go as long... Like, play it survival-wise. But then there are better scenarios. You can have scenarios where it's... Like, you're being attacked by waves. So... That would probably be better if you wanted more of a... More of, a, more of a challenge, a different type of challenge, I suppose. I mean, the way this is going, it could end up being pretty much like a, a farm farming simulator because you're just surviving, growing crops, and surviving. You don't have to deal with the zombies at all until they come into your base. It just depends how you, the player, wants to, to play the game. The real with Project Zomboid is when you're new and you don't know what you're doing and you start off and you're just like this is insane because I mean I didn't have a fucking clue when I started this it took me ages to finally survive long enough to actually get any enjoyment out of it but there was enough of a m enough of a trickle of enjoyment even though I was dying to make it last but I can see why people don't give the game enough of a chance because it is quite it throws you in and you're just like what the fuck you do get the demo uh, the demo the, the tutorial but it's a bit I mean there ain't much to say a lot of it is just you learn as you go I mean that that is, I don't think there even was a tutorial when I when the game came out so you just literally had to figure it all out but it's quite, it's quite, <laughs> it's quite clever. It's like you'd think, ooh, can you do this? But because in so many other games you can't do the sort of stuff you do in Project Zomboid, it makes you think, it makes you stupid to it. So you wouldn't think, oh, there's no lights on. I should. Back in the day, you used to have light switches, but a lot of times in games now, there's not light switches. So if there's no lights, there's no lights. Whereas in this, if lights are off, you just try and turn the lights on. But it can't get out the window. Like you can open the window. It's like, oh yes, you can actually open the window. It's like, oh, look. But it's like, oh, it won't open. Can I smash it? It's like, yes, you can smash it. It's all these different things that you think, oh, can I do that? But when Project's on board, you're like, yes, you can do that. It's just, can you think, ooh, you know? Or have, have been dumbed down by so many of the games that are out there that you just <laughs> don't consider things that you can do. I don't know, I'm rambling again. Right, anyway guys, I've rambled enough. It's been fun. Um, did quite well. Got a lot of a lot of the stuff I was after. I managed to get the ambulance, managed to get all the medical supplies I needed for now. So it wasn't too bad. Killed a fair few zombies. But yeah, I hope you're all enjoying it. Take it steady everyone, and I will see you again. Take care.